trees in here, like here's one that was a hackberry that was uh, guys come in and girdled to, to kill and here's another one because it was too close to this nice little walnut that I see the deer come <laughs> and worked on, you know, but uh, it, it's alive, it'll be fine. But this little walnut was one that we wanted to uh, enhance and protect. And there's another little walnut right there that they wanted to, to enhance. So the plan was to kill everything that was close and or shady and would be competition to these little trees. Some of these in here, and we'll, we'll walk through. These were planted uh, 22 years ago. 22. I planted them on the month that our first grandchild was born, uh, Austin. And so I, th this is we I call this Austin's Forest, <laughs> you know, because uh, this this is a 22 year old little walnut here, and then. Uh, over here, here's a, uh, an elm tree that was girdled. Uh, Harold's mark is on it, indicating that's a tree to be killed because it's adjacent to this little bur oak that I planted 22 years ago. So we came in, you know, a long time ago and again cut some of the invading trees that were in here. And, uh, and and planted some oaks, walnuts, and pecans. Uh, not, the pecans didn't make it; uh, they they didn't survive. There's only one or two in here that did that are still alive. But the the walnuts and and oaks, most of them made it. So what I'm hoping for is that what we looked at over there in that planting will will look like this and be trees kind of like this and. 20 some years. So yeah, that, that's a 22 year old bur oak. Got some others. There's a nice one right there. That one was here previously, that little one is 12, 14 inch little tree. But you know, you'll see others around that were girdled. This hackberry here was killed because it was shading this guy and that guy. You know, so. well, why girdle the trees instead of cut them down? Because we didn't at that time want all of the tops all, uh, all on the ground at that time. And we can leave them standing. And uh, woodpecker, you know, feeding sites, habitat, and all that. And and, uh, and if we had cut them all in, then they would have had all the tops on the ground and they would have just rotted on the ground. <clears throat> now, obviously, they're going to come down. There's one right there that is already blown down. Uh, we'll see. We'll make another stop here in a little bit on a different area that uh, a windstorm come through and took several of them down already. But we just decided we wanted to go ahead and leave them stand. You know, cause, like I said, the insects under the bark make for woodpecker feeding areas.